was younger. Um, to my understanding, now having Lyme disease, that um, isn't an accurate diagnosis. If you're diagnosed younger, that's according to what my doctor says, which may or may not be true, um, depending on what you choose to believe about MS and Lyme disease, I guess. Um, I, for me, it wasn't true. Um, so people who are diagnosed with MS, generally the later 20s and early 30s, um, it affects women more than men. Um, I want to say the men, I could be wrong in this, <laughs> um, men who are diagnosed with MS, it's a little more severe for them, but it's not as common for a man to be diagnosed with MS. Um, so yeah, mostly women. Um, and it's, I guess there's never a good stage of life to be diagnosed with a debilitating disease, but it is hard. It's hard when you're in your late 20s, early 30s, getting started, getting settled and on with your life and your career and your family, wherever it may be, and you have this debilitating disease that essentially there's not a ton you can do for MS. Um, when I um, believed that I had, when I was diagnosed with MS, when I believed that I had MS, I, um, I fought it a lot because MS kind of does what it's going to do. And so I was really resistant. I didn't want to let it affect me. So I thought, I believe that if I just worked harder, if I was more active, then, then it would go away. Um, that's, that's not how, that's not how MS works. MS is progressively debilitating. Um, it's not the most, ha I guess it's not the happiest, the most fun diagnosis, um, but that I feel like that there are a lot of good things about MS too. Um, one being that everyone knows what it is. Doctors know what it is. They know how to treat it. They don't know how you get it, like any autoimmune disease. Um, you just develop it. I don't know if it's something you develop or if it's just something that you have. I don't think people really know that, um, but there are a lot of there's a lot of progress um, being made with MS. Um, I personally, not to be pessimistic, but I personally don't believe that it's something that will ever be cured. I don't think that autoimmune diseases will be cured, but there's a lot that they can do with them. There's a lot, there's a lot of really helpful treatments. Um, I think I, I stopped following the treatments for MS because they weren't, they weren't doing anything for me. They were making my life harder. But just, I wanna say, uh, I think it was in the past like, in the past decade, in the past 10 years, there have been huge improvements. And I, I remember um, there was one drug that my doctor was really wanting me to look at that's, that was really, um, really effective.